This is a CBS 4 News update. Hi, I'm Elliot Rodriguez with the CBS 4 News update. Two teenagers are under arrest for allegedly carjacking a teacher outside her school. Both suspects, 13 years old. It happened last Tuesday at Biscayne Gardens Elementary School. Police say as the teacher went into her vehicle in the parking lot, one of the boys approached her with a firearm and demanded her keys. He and the other boy got into the car and drove off, but a short time later, the driver crashed. They're both being charged with armed robbery and carjacking and are being held at the juvenile Deten assessment center. Miami-Dade police arrested a teen and her boyfriend in connection to a death investigation involving a man found dead inside a home. 17-year-old Evelyn Gainza and her boyfriend DeMar Torellis were taken into custody. Police say Evelyn took her father's car to pick up Torellis. They say Torellis shot his girlfriend's father, Evelio Gainza, in the back several times when they returned to the home, then dragged and seal the body. Evelyn has been charged with accessory after the fact and Truellis was charged with second degree murder. Officials in Broward and Miami-Dade counties are testing the waters for possible red tide. According to our news partners at the Miami Herald, this is the first time testing is being done since a preliminary report confirmed red tide in Palm Beach County. Dozens of people reported allergy-like symptoms from an irritant over the weekend. Americans nationwide will receive an alert from the President of the United States tomorrow. It's the first test of a national presidential warning system that would allow any president to notify the public of a major event. It's designed to be used very specifically and rarely. When those messages appear on mobile devices, people should take those extremely seriously. It has some direct impact on either life or safety. Now, no one can opt out of the alerts, which have to meet very specific criteria to be sent out. The test is scheduled for tomorrow at 2.18 p.m. A federal lawsuit was filed last week attempting to block the test, saying it violates free speech and is an unconstitutional seizure of electronic devices. Now, CBS4 weather. Our weather is looking windy with uh, occasional showers blowing by. Nothing too concentrated, though. Quick uh, breezy showers on that ocean flow there. The deep tropical moisture remains over the Caribbean through the weekend. In fact, some slightly drier air comes by the end of the weekend. The weekend, so rain chances actually go down a bit. But we're going to have to keep our eyes on that tropical moisture there in the Caribbean. This is the time of the year where the Caribbean uh, can have tropical development, and that tropical development can sometimes head our way. So we'll be watching watching that very, very closely. Forecast wise, it looks like this showers on the breeze continuing through Friday. Decreasing a bit on Friday, the weekend right now looking good. Rain chances going up, though, as that tropical moisture may begin to move our way, especially by early and the middle parts of next week. Elliot. Craig, thank you. That's our news for now. You can always find us at CBSMiami.com and tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all the day's important headlines.